I'm Devin. And I'm Lauren. We're high school sweethearts from small towns. With a passion for travel, both big and small, near and far. Follow along. For travels in tranquility. Well, welcome back to our channel and more Iceland vlogs. Um, today's video is all about the Snæfellsnes Peninsula, where we took a troll bus tour. Yeah, so this first area we're here at is the Kirkjufell Mountain area. There's a little Kirkjufell waterfall. I think it's called Kirkjufell Foss, something like that. That's Kirkjufell right there as I swing wildly around. <laughs> and there's Lauren. Uh, so this is an area that a lot of folks who watch Game of Thrones are going to recognize because it is one of those things in the show. Yes. Our second stop was the Saxhole Crater, which we only have photos of. Um, it was 138 steps to climb up to the top of the crater. It was but so windy. As you can see, though, it was worth it. It Beautiful. was absolutely stunning views up there. Got lots of great Instagram <laughs> snapshots at this place. So this is the Dew... Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Dew Palace Sandor Beach. Uh, it's another black sand beach on the um, Snæfellsnes Peninsula. That's a terrible pronunciation. I apologize. But this is one of my favorite places that we went to just because the waves were just so stunning. Yeah, definitely. This was one of the few days where we had kind of more traditional Iceland weather on our trip where it was really cloudy and overcast and windy. Um, but it, it kind of made for some really beautiful views at these spots. Um, like seeing the beach when it was kind of dark, dark and stormy was really pretty. Here's the uh, Arnestapi uh, coast. So this is like really rugged like farm areas, uh, small towns. Um, this These beaches look a lot like what you see if you go to like uh, the west coast of England. Um, just really tall cliffs, lots of birds, crazy waves. It's beautiful. Yeah, this was a cool stop because we got to walk along the coast. There's this really pretty path um, that we're currently on in the video <laughs> that just kind of follows along the edge of the coast. Um, this was probably one of our favorite stops of the tour because it was neat that we were able to do something kind of on our own with this walk um, and get to see all of the coastline. It's still very cold and windy, but very pretty. There are also lots of birds here. You got some good shots of tons of birds of the birds coming up. Um, but that was like a cool part to see along this walk. And there's this little white church at the end that um, I've definitely seen like a lot of photos of. I feel like all of the churches in Iceland because they're kind of that. They're just so picturesque. They are really picturesque and they're kind of that old school architecture. Um, I feel like you you see pictures of their churches everywhere so you see some sea foam there i was really fascinated by that for some you reason. were yes he was <laughs> talking about the sea foam for quite a bit on this video before we had to chop it up because it was so windy <laughs> he's talking about the sea foam he enjoys sea foam apparently This next picture that you're going to see is of this really cool troll statue um, along that coastal walk that we just saw. And, and then... here's uh, Boothus Kirkia, which is a black church. It's fascinating history. 
definitely more time we need more time to get into it than we have here yeah we'll look into it it's beautiful yeah very iconic church again and very crowded probably one of the most crowded spots along our visit and then our last visit was to a beach um where we could see a lot of seals in the water you can kind of see them they're those things that look like rocks but they are in fact seals Thank you.